Yeah. I think I like animals a little more after having, you know, kind of having a dog. I don't like, I still don't like the little, the little, wow, what kind of dogs are those? The little tiny dogs. I, I love those dogs. My, my energy is the same with those. All of those can hmm, insert very mean insult. <laughs> All of those, because I, I feel like they're useless. They don't do anything but make noise. They're really annoying and they're high maintenance. Uh, but they're high maintenance and I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. But uh, let's see. Most enjoyable impact. Uh, I haven't played making my character stronger. Playing with friends, that would be cool. Mastering more difficult combat, that'd be cool too. Um, how focused am I playing? Um, somewhat focused. Uh, combat, yes. Tower defense. Um, let's see, what else would I like? Reaction, music, lighting, simulation, eh. Social interaction? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I don't follow any of these. So, sorry. <laughs> Am I still playing game? Are, are you still playing games other than Genshin Impact? Yes, what? Are they trying to consume you, bro? Are they trying to consume you? That's kind of nuts. Chihuahuas? Yeah, well, yeah. Denzi Chihuahuas or... I don't know. I just feel like they... I feel like they're... I already feel like... I feel bad for... Alright, first off. Let me preface this, this negative connotation on the really tiny dogs with... I really love and respect what dogs and horses did for us as humans way back 100 200 years ago and stuff i i they were really important they were really important because they they would do like we wouldn't get nowhere without horses first off we wouldn't get we wouldn't have got nowhere without horses so we you cut the exploring anything nah we ain't exploring nothing without horses first off there's that we ain't we, and we wasn't carrying nothing without dogs dogs was they were carrying things for us like they were carrying things for us. They would round up other. They would round up the other animals. They would uh, they would force. Um, they would make it easier to. What is it called? Shepherd. You know. You know the word shepherd for like German shepherd. That word is because they used to. They used to guard other animals and or force the animals to to be to behave certain ways with their aggression, uh, with their aggression and stuff. Like they dogs and horses were like super useful, and now maybe horses are still kind of useful, but dogs they they just seem like <sighs> this is bad. I don't want to say the s word, the ends and laves, but oh, man, I don't really know what else to to compare them to because we just get dogs and like you you dress them up. As if they want to, you know, as if they want to have clothes, like, like, itchy clothes that they scratch every 20 seconds. Like, as if they want to have itchy clothes on. Or, you know, I guess some dogs do, not some, probably minor, minor amounts of dogs would. But, shepherd dogs still exist in Romania. Yeah, they, we still have some here in America. It's just that most of the dogs that I see now, um, they're, like... They're they're pets. I guess that's the word, right? They're they're pets, and it it makes me disappointed because I know where dogs came from. They used to be so much more respected and so much more useful, and now they are simply a companion to someone that can live without them. Um. So people treat their dogs like they treat their kids. I do agree with that. They do, but. I don't know. I, I think it's because I know how useful I understand mentally how useful they used to be and how they're just an accessory. It seems like they're they're like an accessory and they're good for company. Um, animals in general, not just dogs. They're good for company. It just seems that their use is just nowhere near as important as it used to be. And when I see dogs, especially the ones that are dressed up, the little tiny ones like it, I feel bad for the dog. 
because I, I feel bad for the dog because one, I don't know how the super small breeds were even really made because back then, a uh, hundred some long, long years ago, uh, don't worry about why I know about all this stuff. I'm a vampire. I've been living for a long time. Don't question me. Uh, but back then, there were not small dogs. Not There were not many small dogs. So that means we've been crossbreeding and so much. And we've been crossbreeding so much with the dogs to make so many of these small dogs for the people that want the small dogs. It's not a natural occurrence. Like we're forcing, we've been forcing things in general to, to smash each other. Like, well, animals in general to smash each other. And that's a lot of different animals. We're not going to touch on that. But dogs in, in particular, there were not that many tiny dogs back then. All these tiny dogs, this is new. This is not, they haven't been alive for 50 years. Like, this is a new thing. So, like, people in the countryside still have them. Do that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. See, see, I like that. I like that, uh, Denzi. That, and that, I find that is useful. But when I see a dog being carried, like, in a purse, uh, you know, being carried in a purse and, like, shown off like it's a, like a trophy uh and like it's at the end of the day it's an it's an animal like he or she the dog is an animal and i don't think that i don't think that people really understand what that word really means um uh, for the dog um there's a sense of freedom that comes with that word that dogs just don't have anymore and it really makes me it really makes me a bit melancholy i'll be honest Little dogs can't even pull their own weight. Yeah, I agree. Let's see, he's the freaking sweetest. Little dogs are definitely the worst. Yeah, see? And I know this, wild child. I've never owned one. <laughs> I've never owned one small dog. <laughs> I've only had a dog from when I was a kid. And, like, he was just super dope, and he was my best friend. Rest in peace to Fats. Um, rest in peace to Fats. Fats was my, was my dog. Um, he was... So, when I was in middle school and elementary school, I used to get bullied. Cause I didn't care about style. Um, I didn't care about style, so like people would roast me, and I I wasn't word savvy enough to fire anything back. So I used to just like shut up and take it, uh, whatever. Sometimes I used to cry, like back in like fourth and fifth, back in fourth and fifth grade around there. Sometimes I sometimes I used to cry about it, like not in public, but like when I got home and stuff. And it just built it built a lot of rage inside of me, um, just over the years and. The only person, because I live with, I was in shared custody. I had, um, I had my father and I had my mother, and I was in shared custody. So every other weekend, I would go over my my mother's weekend, my mother's, whatever. Uh, I was primarily over my father's, especially during the school year. So during the school year, my father was married to another woman named Gloria, and um, he's married to her, and she had two daughters. The two daughters were older than me. Um, and as you know about girls, girls advance mentally faster than guys. So if I'm 10 and my sister, my sister Carrie was 11, other sister was 14. So they had nothing in common with me. All I wanted to do was fight and play video games and play basketball. That was all I did as a kid. Video games, basketball, fighting. That's it. Only thing I cared about. Um, you know, and so they used to, they used to make fun of me and stuff too. And the only person that wouldn't, or that I guess maybe couldn't, was the dog that we had, Spats. He was a German Shepherd. He's a brown, brown German Shepherd, you know, average size. Uh, I believe he was mixed with German Shepherd and Rottweiler. He was just super cool. I used to just go outside and like after I get done playing basketball, I just go and sit in his uh, sit in his area and just chill next to him and like talk to him about stuff uh, until he passed away. Um, dog you had before was usually stand outside and catch rats if they're around useful stuff denzi useful things see that's all you know you pull your weight do something good you know all right all my games time is uh let's see most of my game time, my game time is equally uh i don't know we'll say equally i guess uh ooh we in the last six months uh, Maybe 150. <laughs> That's being generous. Let's see. But yeah, wild child. I agree. People treat their dogs like kids, and I like that. That's that's how you should treat your um, your pet or your dogs. But at the same time, I do feel like I'm, I said a statement before, and I'm sticking to it. I feel like the word animal in general 
comes with a in my in my opinion it comes with a comes with a certain sense of freedom and wildness uh, that the pets don't get to have and that's i mean i guess it's maybe maybe it's good because they live longer probably but i don't know i just i feel bad for a lot of dogs uh i'll be honest 